In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My Lord and my God, I firmly believe that you are here, that you see me, that you hear me. I adore you with profound reverence. I beg your pardon for my sins and the grace to spend this time of prayer fruitfully. My Immaculate Mother, Saint Joseph, my Father and Lord, my guardian angel, intercede for me. We have uh, this uh, short meditation for uh, us uh, on the occasion of the uh, feast days, feast day that we are celebrating for the three archangels, St. Michael, St. Gabriel, and uh, St. Raphael. And, uh, well, we have this special meditation for St. Maria Escriba, Finding God in Every Place Facebook uh, page. We want to uh, invite all the followers to bring uh, into our conversation, into our prayers, what are the role of uh, these archangels that we talk about. Well, we know they are just like many, many other uh, angels created by God, the good ones. The bad ones have been uh, kicked out of uh, paradise uh, when uh, offended, uh, offended by, uh, they tempted our first parents and they were kicked out from then on. And, uh, our catechism has uh, taught us uh, of these angels uh, being given 
to us, to each one of us, to all the uh, created beings, to all the creatures. And why is that so? Maybe we, we ask the Lord. It must be something very, very special, giving life to a baby, to a boy, to a girl, or to any individuals. Our Lord wanted somebody, no? not physical, but angelic, to be the security uh, personnel of the individual. So we know all of us have our guardian angel because his mission is uh, simply that to take care of me to take care of you to take care of each one of us we don't see him but that's what we want to tell our lord that we can through this uh, feast day uh, improve uh, increase our uh, dealings, uh, our devotions to our guardian angel. Is there such the guardian angel? Are there such things as that? Well, uh, from uh, some of this uh, gospel uh, reading, uh, our Lord himself talking to Nathaniel uh, of that part of... Uh, Telling him, I saw you uh, under the fig tree. No? And uh, then Nathaniel uh, replied and answered, Rabbi, thou art the son of God. No? He recognized. And then our Lord uh, replied saying, Because I said to you that I saw you under the fig tree, thou dost believe greater things than this. Thou shalt believe and see. And he said to him, Amen, Amen. I say to you, you shall see heaven open and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. It's our Lord replying and saying, There is such an angel. And therefore we cannot refute and say, Is there? I don't see them. I don't feel uh, there is someone on my left or on my right. No? Are they working? Well, yes. Our Lord had just uh, said uh, that. No? And uh, here even uh, clearer no? in uh, in that uh, Archangel Michael so they are special, they are archangels, but they are also angels. And they have been entrusted of some, uh, some things. And we know Michael because he had won the fight against the, the devils. And in Revelation, it talks about the battle. That is chapter 12, verse 7. It says, there was a battle in heaven, Michael and his angels. So there, yeah, is there Archangel Michael and his angels battled with the dragon and the dragon fought and his angels and they did not prevail. Neither was their place found anymore in heaven. And that great dragon was cast down, the ancient serpent, he who is called the devil and Satan, who leads astray the whole world. And he was cast down to the earth, and with him his angels were cast down. They were cast down by Saint Michael, the archangel. The meaning of is, he who is God. The power given to him to cast out all the devils, and including Satan, not out of this world, because that will only come at the end of the world. At the moment, we know that the devils, satans, are very, very active. 
They have not conceited. They have not felt that they lost the battle. They will uh, keep on striking. And that's how we see the world going crazy, going around. And people getting crazy. Why? Because there is the enemy. No? The world, the devils, and then yourself. These are our enemies in our battle to be... Uh, to be a children of God, we have to go to this battle. And the most dangerous one would be the devil. Well, not really the devil. No, I will say the dangerous one would be ourselves. If we are not determined to win, if we allow the devil to come in. But there he, he is. And there they are. They are trying to, to strike, to come in, and therefore... We go to St. Michael and ask his favor, please win the battle for us. And what do we do during uh, now the pandemic? We have uh, memorized or we have prayed. We are encouraged to go to St. Michael and help us. What do we say? Defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. And may God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, trust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world for the ruins of souls. Amen. Well, we say this prayer to St. Michael to keep on reminding him this is, uh, please, a big help for us. Otherwise, we will succumb. We will uh, be in the uh, sort of uh, in the hands of this devil, playing around with us. Especially uh, with lockdown, we stay home. Uh, no danger outside, but the danger is inside. It's in me getting bored, uh, uh, restless, uh, going uh, to those social media watching all sorts of videos, and the devil is there, trying to put in things that will offend the Lord. And if we are not careful, and if we are not calling on St. Michael, there we go. We will be offending God. And if we offend God in a very serious matter, meaning mortal sin, then we kick out uh, the grace god in us i don't know if we kick out also the guardian angel maybe our guardian angel will stay behind and cry and say why did you do that no you're out of grace so well you better get back and the the the, the guardian angel maybe will whisper and say okay uh, say the act of contrition know your faults and sins and be sorry for them right away and if you can go to confession when there is a, a, a priest available then go and make use of that sacrament to get back to the lord there is archangel michael protecting everybody aside from our own guardian angel we are celebrating uh, his uh, feast day together with the other two and we know, Lord, we are very familiar. We bring to our prayer, Saint Gabriel. Where did Saint Gabriel appear? Well, even before the birth of our Lord. No, uh, when uh, he, he appeared uh, to Zachariah, no, and announcing no, about the coming of the, the child John the Baptist. Because Elizabeth was uh, barren and would not, and it was Gabriel who gave that good news to the couple. And true enough, uh, uh, Elizabeth conceived, and then not for long, after six months, here comes Gabriel, appearing Archangel Gabriel, announcing the good news. He was entrusted to tell this very young girl uh, in, 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 in Israel, 
that she has been chosen to be the mother of God. And not knowing what she would say, it's not something fixed because the girl is free to say, what's that? No. Yes. So many could say any of that. And the, the, the messenger, Gabriel, uh, was uh, not really nervous, but she was told, tell you know, that you have been chosen and it is the working of the Holy Spirit. And if you don't know, because uh, the girl Mary was saying, but how will this happen? You know, and, and then it was explained by Gabriel, our angel Gabriel. Well, this is uh, God, the Holy Spirit, uh, the work not of a man. And Mary was uh, listening and did not uh, hesitate to say yes. Wow, because she could have said yes and no, as uh, anyone have freedom to say yes, no, I don't understand. But Mary said yes to Gabriel, and therefore, no, let fiat be it done to me. And there she was, she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Archangel Gabriel gave the good news of the Savior. He has been a long time, centuries, long ago, that has been being announced that they will come, this Savior, when? Well, nobody knows until Gabriel came around and said and uh, appeared to Mary. That we are very thankful every day, every day. Uh, if not noon time or early morning at 6 in the morning or in the evening, if we like, so we can choose uh, for us normally at noon time when we say the Angelus to recall. The Archangel Gabriel huh, came to say, uh, to tell Mary, wow, what a good news. How we want Gabriel to tell all the girls or, and the and the boys, or men and women, those who have intended you know, to have a family. And uh, naturally, that uh, Gabriel will bring them good news that they will uh, bore, uh, bear a son or children. And that, uh, well, whatever good news that Gabriel could tell them, especially the unity, you know, the closeness of uh, this uh, man and woman being united in marriage in a family that that is a very united family and this one and that one and so many of your families we ask gabriel no because that's what that's her, that's his role no taking care of our holy family mary and joseph with jesus as uh, their son. That's the feast day of uh, Archangel Gabriel, and we won't forget him because precisely we said every day we uh, we, we we will uh, we will recall him. It's impossible. We have already the custom. We say it, no, uh, any time. And the last one is that of Saint Raphael. Uh, this feast day has been put together. Initially, there are uh, different dates, but now the church, I think in the last century, put them together and said, okay, we'll uh, have the three archangels together. No, Saint uh, Michael, Saint Gabriel, and Raphael, who was the one in charge uh, to accompany Tobias. There was a trip and he had to be accompanied and Michael appeared there to, 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 to be the companion of Tobias and not knowing initially but then when he introduced himself I am a Raphael. Wow! So happy Tobias to have a friend and a friend who did uh, some good things for him like because of Raphael well, uh, uh, Tobias got uh, the, his wife, Sarah. And because of Raphael, then also the, the cure 
the blindness of uh, the father to be yes and uh, the, the the also what he did was the the family uh, became very very happy they recovered you know, all their uh, happiness you know, in life that is Raphael we want uh, Raphael to accompany us Saint Raphael accompany us in all our trips that's why Raphael is the uh, patron of travelers He's the patron of travelers and uh, These three archangels are very related and we can bring to our prayer in uh, the page. Uh, we give importance because Saint Jose Maria had named them, have asked the Lord, maybe enlightened to say, well, you know, we have guardian angel, but we want an archangel uh, helping out in... Uh, uh, the works of Opus Dei. And so in Opus Dei, there are those uh, patrons that uh, we call some saints. Uh, but then with the archangel, they are also patrons. Patron, uh, Saint Michael, he will be entrusted of uh, people who are dedicated and committed like the numeraries, those celebrate members in Opus Dei, those of us who are in a center with our Molabe Study Center and many other centers all over the world. Uh, we want St. Michael to take care of us because we have to be strong. We are committed and the devil will come uh, and attack us more. Uh, because, well, uh, for those who are not, then they did not pay attention. But for us, since we are dedicated, since we are determined, then the more the devil will come and attack us. But we are not afraid. We have St. Michael, and uh, he will take charge of uh, all our activities. You know? Whatever we do, we call we call on him, St. Michael, pray for us, intercede for us. And when it's uh, for our other works, which are for the families, the majority, you know, because they are married uh, uh, man and woman, husband and wife. Uh, they could be members, both of them. And so St. Jose Maria would want that Archangel Gabriel from the time of Mary, up to this time where there are uh, families and families and families and they have their own uh, little problems to solve, you know, between them and then the families, Archangel Gabriel will be interceding for them. So much so any activities under, uh, under them, we call Saint uh, Gabriel, pray for us. And the last one, Saint Raphael, who wants to accompany everybody, and the young, like Tobias, still uh, young and uh, not married. Saint Raphael will be the companion. Young people, high school, college, young pro, they are the uh, they can go to Saint Raphael. Don't leave me. I said for my guardian angel, I want Saint Raphael. To be accompanying me at the same time to direct my my ways so that I don't uh, get lost. No, that's why we uh, designate him as patron of the uh, travelers wherever we go. Saint Raphael, no, intercede for us. Long trip going uh, out, no. Then uh, we pray the Saint Raphael. Yeah, so we have the three archangel together with us where we would be. Uh, celebrating and um, of course in the celebration we always say Lord thank you, you no know, for uh, Saint Jose Maria giving Opus Dei giving us members you no know, sort of uh, you no know, uh, that e that easiness that uh, we have a support from above aside from my guardian angel which I have you know 
it's our resolution no, that if we have our guardian angel, well, let's try to uh, connect. No, there is no need of internet because she is just beside me here on my right. On my right is uh, Billy, Billy uh, Senior. Billy, Willie. No, he's my guardian angel, so I call him Billy uh, Senior. Where? How come? There is another one, Junior. Well, according to Seno Samaria, as a priest, we have two. We have to be guarded by two guardian angels. So on my left, there is a, a, a Billy Junior. Junior and Senior on each side so that I don't get lost. And I like that. I don't want to get lost, my Lord. I want to be directed. No, you have chosen me as a priest, have given me this task to guide many, many other people, like Raphael guiding uh, young people. Well, I want that this uh, two guardian angel of mine, especially when there is a battle going on, very strong, that I'll be stronger, no, to reject them because I have their support, their help. Well, we end our... Uh, prayer, thinking, well, first of all, St. Uh, Jose Maria, that in a short while, in a few days, we will also be celebrating uh, the foundation of Opus Dei, October 2, no? so just uh, a few days more. And uh, we want to thank the St. Jose Maria appointing this Archangel uh, to each of the work of St. Gabriel, work of St. Michael, work of St. Raphael, to be in uh, Opus Dei. Well, especially our devotion to Mama Mary, you know, reinforced by uh, constant teaching of our Father. Well, we go to her all, all the time. I thank you, my God, for the good resolutions, affections, inspirations that you have communicated to me in this meditation. I beg your help in performing them. My Immaculate Mother, Saint Joseph, my Father and Lord, my Guardian Angel, intercede for me.